may be able to hear me now, now that it's not quite as loud, but I thought you might enjoy seeing some of that anyway. Yes, um, that is super encouraging, isn't it? Um, to see that. You know, I want to share with you this scripture here. And it's a bit funny, I'm kind of multitasking. Can I comment on it? Yeah. Awesome. There we go. That's the way I can get the scripture there happening whilst I'm doing other things like tuning in. Hello, is that John watching from the Gold Coast? Yes. Awesome, mate. Yeah, so we're at Planet Shakers Conference in, um, in Brisbane at the moment taking some, some of the youth and young adults uh, down for that and that's great. I hope that was so encouraging to see. There are thousands of young people that love Jesus and it, it's wonderful. But, you know, so I just wanted to give you a daily dose of encouragement out of God's Word and centered around the topic of prayer and fasting. Marie Molan, hello. And the scripture is out of Ezra 8, 21. I could be wrong, but Ezra 8 says that, Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, that we might humble ourselves before our God, to seek from him the right way for us and our little ones and all our possessions. You know, so today, I suppose a bit of the topic will be humility because then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava that we might humble ourselves. Fasting and prayer humbles ourselves before God. He didn't, Ezra didn't just go, yeah, I know, I know what, I know what to do. I know the way, how to get over this river. I know how to lead the chi the children and the younger ones over here. Look out. This is the way. He humbled himself with prayer and fasting. And it, it works. It's still the same principle of humbling ourselves through prayer and fasting applies. Tell you what, and I love that it says, as I'm puffed from walking up the big hill, it's even good seeing that many cars there. I mean, I just had to get to the right car. If you want to know why I had to get to the, the vehicle was because I had to put away, believe it or not, when you're, when you're praying and fasting particularly, people just start, you know, Lou and I were talking about this, offering you food and for Lou my wife someone gave them said here here's a hundred dollars why don't you go get some Kentucky Fried Chicken for you and your family and Lou's like I'll get it for my children but not for her also being offered a lovely steak you know I said for for Lou it was for Jesus it was bread but for Lou it was Kentucky Fried Chicken and for me here today in day seven It's this box of chips. It's full of chips. It's full. Someone gave me this and it was hard to not receive it. I, I didn't want it. He said, look, we've got too many of these. We were meant to give them out and we couldn't give them out. And now, and he was like stressed about having a huge box of chips. He was like, I've got to get inside and, and I'm going to have to distribute these. And it's, they're really hard to give away. Uh, and I took like one packet for my Jeremy and one packet for Samuel and then I took another packet for Mason I think I took some packets and was going to give them away but then he's like still stressed and still standing there and I'm like what, what's the problem I'm like okay so do you want me to take the whole box he's like oh yes please would you <laughs> would you please that would help me so much he was like desperate for me to, to take them which I think is quite funny, considering the circumstances. <laughs> anyway, there it is. It's a fair, a fair old size. Like 20, 20 packets of original, oh, all the rest of it, just coming into my hands. Why? Because I'm praying and fasting. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to eat them all right now. 
give me five minutes after this broadcast. No, that's a joke. I'm not, I'm not. Anyway, getting back to the scripture. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek him for the right way for us. You know, through prayer and fasting and humbling ourselves, we receive instruction for the right way for us. And we need to be open to God's guidance for us. But you know, it goes beyond that. We pray and fast also for others. That God would do something in us to be able to have other people saved, healed, delivered, touched by the power of God and transformed. That's it. That's where it says, before our God, to seek him for the right way for us and our little ones, our children, the next generation. We pray and fast for them and all our possessions, you know, how they were going to get them across the river. And we pray and fast to take dominion over the flesh, but to also ensure that, you know, you put that uh, appetite of the flesh in eating underneath your dominion through prayer and fasting and you can gain dominion over every appetite of the flesh and many times the lust of the eyes you know seeing things that you want physical possessions a way to help put that under your feet can be through prayer and fasting yeah it's amazing It's amazing. You remember the rich man, do you have possessions or do your possessions have you? You remember the man that came to Jesus and said, what do I need to do and to be saved? And Jesus told him, you know, don't commit adultery, follow the commandments. And he said, all these I've done from my youth. But, you know, he wanted more and Jesus said, okay, then sell all your possessions, give them to the poor and follow me. And the man went away sad. The young men went away sad because he had many possessions. He went away sorrowful because he had many possessions. Or you could say, because many possessions had him. Many possessions is not necessarily a bad thing. But when the possessions dictate to you how far you follow Christ, then there's a problem with having many possessions. The problem wasn't his possessions. The problem was his possessions had him. So we have to have possession of our possessions, not allow our possessions to have us. It's only stuff. However nice it is, it's going to rust. It's going to, it's going to fade. New car scent wears off. Then you buy the little magic tree to hang in your thing and you, oh, I've got new car scent again. Yeah, but it wears off of that. It's still the car's still aging. Moths, moth and rust do corrode, and you can spend your whole life just trying to chase after possessions and that kind of thing. But I encourage you, this January, as you put God first at this time, prayer and fasting. May all the days of 2024 be times when you have possessions and the possessions don't have you so that you can freely be generous so that when the Lord speaks to you to give you'll give and that when it's time to receive and reap you'll reap which evidently it was for me with this huge box of chips that I've had to leave the the meeting to come and place in the car because it's absolutely ridiculous walking around with them 50 chips but my children will be blessed. We'll be good. We'll give a bunch away. All right. I'll get back in there. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you're anywhere in the Toowoomba area, on tomorrow, I'd love to see you in person at 15 Blake Street Breakthrough Center. Uh, anywhere in the Toowoomba area. That'd be awesome. Uh, otherwise... Otherwise, who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll see you sometime. If you want to give, you can give through um, breakthroughcenter.com.au. I believe it is. I'll try to put, I'll put a link in the comments, and that'd be awesome. Love you so much. Let, let me pray for you right now. Father, thank you for every person watching. Thank you, Lord. 
pray that your anointing, your presence would touch them. I pray that they would choose to follow you all the days of their life and that they will be refreshed by your presence. As they come into a new year and they've taken the time to watch this broadcast and choose to pray along with me and to say, yes, come on, that their possessions not have them, but that they have control of their possessions to be able to freely give anything that the Lord that you Lord would put your hands on for us to give in Jesus name Amen awesome love you all hey Dylan how you going good to see you and your and your wife yeah yeah we're doing well we're doing well send us a message if you want to and um, otherwise talk to you later God bless.